Now we can just take a pencil, go all the way down, and just go ahead and make our cut. Get our saw and start working. Then the labor kicks in. Again, take care to get a cut started so the blade doesn't slide over towards your hand. You mark your 45 degrees. Then you mark it over here. And when you get here, here's your point. You just set your gauge. Julie's going to work on taking one of the sides of the mailbox and then smoothing out that edge that we've hand sawed. There we go. Now we put this one up against it. It'll be the distance from here to here and from here to here is the same. Now you got to take your tools and have some fun with them in between the work. Check this out. Now the key to this is look at the S shape. So we have our lines. We need to go ahead and start making our cut. We're going to take the saw that we're playing our music with. Come on up here a minute. I want to show you this right here. Notice, notice how tall this is? good enough for a big package. Even if it was like a vertical package with a box, the mailman could probably still stick it in there. So much more than just letters, the height this is allows, you know, small packages. Tighten it down and draw your line. Go ahead and repair that right there. Nice. On goes the lid. And you might have to do a little sanding on this on the sides. Or maybe even a little chiseling. But you'll get it. Angle braces for various types of support. So you're fixing to get to see this come together. Enjoy. So we're gonna we're making the support now for the mailbox. So what are you doing, Pop Pop? Um, flat, making this end flat, smoothing it up. I don't want to drill into the concrete, so I'm putting something to set it on. Yeah, we didn't purchase any of the hardware on this, the 4x4, four four, or any of this lumber, it was all just found and recycled. And now it's being repurposed and reused. You can paint this or decorate it any way you want. Well, thanks for watching, and we'll see you later.